What's up, everybody? It's JJ All Day back with another video. Today, we are doing LeBron 18 James Gang. That's right, the LeBron 18. So, I had to get my hands on these, give y'all my honest thoughts, my put my two cents on it. So, we're gonna be doing a comparison. I'm gonna pull out the, um, the James Gang LeBron 17 and compare it to these and give y'all my honest thoughts and you know, shake how I feel about it. the pros, the cons, the odds, and the evens. Y'all know how I give it up, but um. If y'all new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so I'm not drop a video, music reviews, and sneak reviews, and a few other things here and there so y'all know what it is. So without further ado, let's get into this review. And um, with the 18s, they kind of switched it up with the box. Well, not kind of, they switched it up a lot. As you can see, this is a very plain Jane, regular smegular box. You know what I'm saying? So they got this little Nike Cold 2020, 2021, just do it, all that, you know, BBZ. 3330 all that going all around the box as you can see right here y'all know what that means y'all let me know uh i went um size nine on these true to size but with the way they fit i will say that for what i would have went them for i won't wear them casually so i will probably go up a half a size so if you're trying to play ball in these you probably go true to size because they really really hug your feet i will get into that a little later but more branding on the box as you can see Nike sign right here. And this box also opens up kind of, you know, different than the average box. It's got this little indention right here, which it just pops open like so. And it pops open like so. LeBron signature right here, as you can see. Um, regular white paper, you know, all that regular smeggling stuff, nothing too crazy. Like I said, very, very simple box. I, I picked these up from my local um, Hibbits. Um, the lady said you were the first one to, to buy these, which I already knew that because in my area, they don't really do LeBrons like that, you know. Everybody does Jordans, you know, which is cool and nothing wrong with that. But I like to switch things up and do things a little different. So that's why I rock with my LeBrons. It always feels good to go buy a shoe with no raffle, no hassle, and also can be found on sale, which is always a win, you know what I'm saying, no matter what the situation is, you know. But um, let's get into the shoe. You've seen the box, and uh, here today I give you the LeBron 18 James Gang. Y'all see what that is. Give y'all 360. As y'all can see that very nice i will admit though but i'm kind of 50 50 with this shoe and um let's start off with this um more of this knit mods knit positive material going all the way around the shoe with your blue and your green speckle pink nike sign on the toe right here and also going up the tongue you got these pods which i don't know what these represent or what these mean i don't know why they would put these little these little air bubbles right here on the tongue james gang right here lion up, um in pink as you can see right there. So I don't really know what these mean, LeBron signature. Um, I, after putting these on, I will say these really, really hug your feet, man. Like if you're really trying to hoop and get a triple double or win a championship or something, I mean, <laughs> I guarantee you're probably gonna be able to do it in these. Like these are gonna do exactly what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like these really, really hug your feet. But like I said though, I don't play ball. I rock my shoes casually. So this is a shoe that I will, you know, Go up a half a size only. Normally I do true to size, size nine, but I will say for the, how I would wear them, I will go up a half a size. So like I said, casual wear only. Um, as you can see, going around this way, um, right here, picking up, it says um, from the city of Akron, Ohio. Now on the other shoe, I don't know what it says. So if y'all know that, y'all let me know. Midsole in white, wrapping all the way around. Got your blue Nike sign looking very nice right here very nice you know so you can feel it you know saying so kind of sticks out you can feel it you can feel it to the touch now to the back of the shoe king james crown right here with this uh translucent see-through with this more of this graffiti james gang type vibe right here as you can see translucent pull tab as you can see right here nice air bubble going all the way around like any other lebron that you will see very nice though I, but like i said i'm just not crazy about these like the 17 though so let me pull out the i'll show you the other shoe the difference is with this one is you got a blue nike sign on the toe right here everything's pretty much the same like say the lion um the james gang right here and also lebron's signature working your way to this side of the shoe you have the pink nike sign right here that that sticks out same thing on the back right here more of that translucent crown right here translucent pull tab like i said this is just james gang's vibe right here as you can see man more of that nip positive material as you see on the other shoe air bubble now to the outsoles, you can see more colors. It's a crazy situation going on right here. A lot of different colors, a little different variations going on as you can see on the outsole of the shoe from the side and the medial side of the shoe as well as it sticks out. But these is cool though, but I'm just not too thrilled about the colorway or the silhouette as of yet. Maybe these will hit different in the right colorway, but they do got a lot of potential, I will say that though. But um, to compare the shoes, 
Let me show you the 17 James game, which I think they just did a flawless job on this one. This is beautiful right here, man. But just look at both of them at the same time. Y'all let me know which one of y'all feel it. Um, definitely, I feel like the overall silhouette of the 17 is a better silhouette than these. That's just my take, my opinion on it. Um, this just more have a this just has more of a James game type vibe to it. This one right here, I don't know what they were going for. I think this could have been executed a whole lot better in my opinion, you know, but they got potential. It, it, I will say that the jade colorway, I'm more entertained into those and also the, um, maybe the, um, it's a LA colorway. It's like a tan colorway with a blue back on. I'm kind of entertained by those. I've seen the Laker colorway pictures of it. Not too thrilled about those, but this is the first LeBron silhouette in a while that's kind of had me like, hmm, I don't know about these. Maybe for the right price and the right colorway, these would be a go, but yeah. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta keep it a buck with y'all, man. Yeah. But as far as the bottom of the shoe, I think these are gonna hug the court very good. The grip is different, you know, a whole lot different than the 17s. You can see, I didn't heard complaints about these people sliding and stuff like that. But you know, of course, I never had any issues with them. But um, this tongue is, is, is super flimsy, as you can see right here. It just flips and flops, you know, right back in place. This is probably the, one of the thinnest tongues I've ever felt. Pause, <laughs> but. Speckle laces, you know, you see what it is, man. You see what it is, yo. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all picking these up or y'all went for these go on sale. I think um I would recommend just, you know, hold out, let them go on sale. Yeah, just go to your local store and just try them on and see how they feel. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I just give y'all my two cents on these and let y'all know how I feel about them. You know, one last look. LeBron 18 James game. So yeah, I will be giving you more um, LeBron 18 reviews, but I gotta be real with y'all. I'm not, I'm not holding on to these. <laughs> I'm not. Maybe, maybe for that low, low price, yeah, in the right colorway. But um, we gonna end it at that, man. To all my new ones, my day ones, I appreciate each and every one of y'all's been rocking with me. Like I said before, if y'all new to the channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so I'll drop a video, music reviews, sneak reviews, and a few other things here and there. So with that being said, y'all be careful, y'all be safe, and we out. Peace.